Hi guys, it's me the Pecan Tan Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a requested video on my updated hair care routine. Most of the items remain the same, but I have changed out a few items that I want to share with you guys. So I'm going to first start off with my shampoo and conditioner to show you what shampoos and conditioners and deep conditioners that I use on a weekly basis when I shampoo my hair. In my last video, my Holy Grail shampoo was the Cream of Nature Conditioning Shampoo. I also used to use Win, and I still use Win. It's just on a, a auto delivery type thing, so I run out before I can actually get a new shipment. So, um, what I have been using now in place of Win until my new shipment comes out is this sulfate free shampoo by DNA. And I picked this up from my local beauty supply store. Very, very good shampoo. Um, it doesn't have much lather, which most sulfate shampoos do not. This is um, for spiral, wavy, kinky, coily, or straight hair. Very, very good. Again, I got this from my local beauty supply store. So this is what I've been using lately as a shampoo. So for my conditioners, I have been using as a deep conditioner, and I think I featured this in my last hair care routine, was the Silk Elements Silken Child Deep Conditioner. Very good conditioner. It's a good detangler. It makes the hair soft. I have been using this, as a matter of fact, for years. I've been using it on my daughter's hair as well. And um, this is one of the products that I can definitely see that staying in my hair care routine. So that is my shampoo and my conditioners that I use. For my hair care routine, I normally try to stick to the same things. I don't switch out as much. If I find something that I like, I try to stick to it um, just to give it a chance to do its magic on my hair if I'm having any type of issues like breakage or dryness. So as with any product, you want to make sure that you consistently use it and give it enough time to see how your hair reacts to it. So for my styling products, you guys know one of my favorites is the Cantu line. And I have several Cantu products um, back here on my setup. And my favorite is the Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Conditioning Spray. Very good spray. It leaves the hair with a nice, beautiful shine. It's not too oily. It actually sprays where you want it to spray. It's not one of those sprays that comes out really hard or... Um, that it spurts out everywhere. This one is the perfect conditioning oil sheen spray. So this is one that has been in my routine for a long, long time. And I expect to keep it in my routine for a long, long time. So this is one of my styling products, my go-to styling products that I use on a daily basis. So the next product that I use that's in my hair care routine is this Cantu Shea Butter Flat Iron Spray. As you guys know, if you watch my hair care styling tutorials, I rarely use any type of hairspray or spritz or anything like that. But when I do want a hairstyle, well, I want to, if I want to freeze it or flip it or, you know, if I want it to last a little bit longer, I will use this. This is the only type of spray that I will use in my hair because it doesn't make it extremely hard. And it doesn't leave a buildup. So that's why this is my go-to styling spritz or hairspray, flat iron spray, because it doesn't leave the hair hard and you can still comb through it the next day and style it as usual. So this is number two for my hair care styling product. Another one of my favorites is the coconut oil. And I consider this a styling product because I use it prior to putting any heat on my hair and I also use it as a heat protector. This is um, one by Loana 
Luana. This one is not my normal go-to. I normally use 100% organic coconut oil. I couldn't find any in the store that I was in, so this is what I picked up. It's still 100%, um, and as a matter of fact, it is almost gone. So I will be picking up my normal organic coconut oil. But this is number three in my hair care styling products routine. Okay, and here again is another awesome, awesome Cantu styling product. And this one is the Cantu Shea Butter Daily Oil Moisturizer. And this is a new item. I've never tried this one before. Um, this is a new addition to my hair care routine regimen. And I am loving this. It's not oily. It's not greasy. It's not sticky. Um, so I just use this sometimes just to put on my hair prior to heat styling, to let it soak in a little bit, and um, it's awesome, awesome results. I also use this before I go under the hair dryer after I shampoo and condition my hair. I put this on before I wrap it just to give it some added moisture and some added protection. So again, this is the Cantu Shea Butter daily oil moisturizer. Another product that I like to use in the Cantu line is the Shea Butter Leave-In Moisturizing Hair Repair. This is a very, very good cream. It is similar to the daily leave-in conditioner. This one it just has a heavier consistency that you can still use. And this is another one that I use whenever I go under the dryer while my hair is still damp very good product. All these products can be picked up at Sally's, Walmart, Target, um, your local beauty supply store. I normally get mine from Walmart because first of all they're a little bit cheaper and they always have all of the products that I'm looking for. And the last item of my styling products is my foaming mousse. You guys, my holy grail wrap foaming lotion used to be the Proclaim, but I have just found something else that I like. So this is the Organics Olive Oil Foam Wrap Lotion. And this is another foaming lotion that I absolutely love. I don't normally like anything hard in my hair, any type of lotion or spray or anything that is going to make my hair hard. I try to stay away from it. So I was a little leery trying something different. Again, I went to Sally's and they did not have my normal Proclaim foaming wrap lotion. So I thought that I would try something else and this is what I decided to try and it was a great choice because I have fallen in love with this wrap lotion. It's another one that does not make your hair hard or flaky or anything. It's almost like you don't even have anything in your hair. Like I said, I stay away from anything that's going to make my hair hard because it creates breakage and makes it dull. So I was so happy when I found this product. So this is one of the new products that I have added to my routine lately. The next thing is my relaxer and this relaxer and color is what I featured in my last video. These are my go-to products and have been for a very long time. So what I use as my relaxer is the Africa's Best Dual Conditioning Relaxer and then this is in the regular formula. You guys, this has been my go-to relaxer for years. I used to use Optimum. I switched up and I thought that I would give this one a, a try and to my surprise this is an awesome relaxer. I have been using this for maybe about two three years now and I love it. It's conditioning. It doesn't dry the hair out and it's easy to rinse out. It comes with all the products like most relaxers do. Um, so this is the relaxer that I have been using. For the color that I use, I always and have been, I'm going to say for at least 20 years, been using this product, which is Beijing. 
um, or Beijing, however you say it. I just say Beijing. Um, this is the number 88, and this is in the color blue-black. I used to use Oriental Black for years. I'd say for 15 years, I, I my go-to color was always this brand and the Oriental Black. But I just recently, within like the last couple years, started using this Blue Black, which I love. And it's actually blacker than the Oriental Black. So that's what I like. Um, I've always dyed my hair black. I have never went outside of the box and tried anything different. I just like how black makes your hair look shiny and healthy, um, especially when you incorporate it with awesome products and normal hair care maintenance and trims. Um, a color, especially black, can just make your hair just pop to all types of levels. So this is the color that I use, and I use this every single time I relax, which is maybe every four to five weeks it just depends on you know how fast my hair is growing so this is my go-to hair color Beijing and this is the color blue black so next I'm gonna move on to my styling tools these products range from my flat irons and my trimmers and the guards and everything else I use so the first one that I use is, this is a new flat iron that I've added to my collection, and this is the Nano. This is an inch plate, it's a ceramic, and I normally don't like to do the inch. I'm normally a half inch type of girl for um, the size plate of my flat irons, but this one, it's nice because it lets me have lots of control even though it's a lot bigger but just with the tapered point it gives me lots of control whenever I want to take curls and slide them or flip them just gives me lots of control um, and it has an adjustable heating setting heat setting which is very important to me because I don't like to use lots of heat or high heat on my hair so an adjustable flat iron with a setting is always my go-to and you guys, I featured this flat iron in my last video, um, the Faux Hawk video, Growing Out Your Pixie. So um, also, if you haven't checked that video out, I will link it below so you can make sure that you check out that video. And this is a very, very old school flat iron that I have had for years. As you can see, it's very dirty. I need to clean it. But this flat iron, it has a barrel here going this on this side and then on the other side it kind of bows in a little bit so what it does is it helps you form the curl better when you're curling it when you're flat iron flat ironing it it can help you actually achieve a curl you can use it as a flat iron or a curling iron and that's what I like about it if I want curls that are a little bit more tight I go to this flat iron and for my back and my sides, I always have a mini flat iron on hand just to be able to get the short hairs on the side as well as the hair in the back towards the, the neck area. Um, this was a flat iron that I actually received as a free gift for buying X amount of products and Sally's. And I thought it was just going to be a cheapy cheap flat iron that they were giving away. But this is a workhorse. This is a very good flat iron. Um, haven't had any troubles with it. It's a nice size to help grab on those short hairs, especially when I do flips in the back, when I have my, this part grows out a little bit and I want to try something different and do some flips. This type of flat iron is perfect for that. So I always make sure that I have a mini flat iron on hand. And to maintain my cut, I always have to have a pair of clippers. Um, and these are just some Andy's little mini clippers that I absolutely love. I, I can travel with it. It stores very easily. It cleans up very easily. Very nice clippers. And the guards that I normally use with this on the back and the sides of my hair are the half inch guard and the one eighth guard. As you can see, one is a lot larger which is only going to cut my hair to be a half inch in the back. And then around the nape area, I always follow it up with 
the 1 8 just to give it a little bit of a tapered look. And I also use this to trim up the sides and around the ears and to trim up the, the neckline on the back side. So good investment. I think these were about 40 bucks, $45, but it's a good investment. It comes with the clippers. It comes with four or five different guards that you need. It also comes with some oil, clipper oil, and a clipper brush. So this is one thing that I absolutely cannot go without because I find myself trimming my hair maybe once a week. I try not to let the around the ear and the this part, I try not to let it get too long. So I'm always touching up my back and my sides with my clippers. Another go-to tool that I use in my routine is a razor comb. This has become my best friend when I don't want to do a lot of cutting, when I don't want to bring my scissors out. I just take this and it has two different size guards on it. So one gets closer to the head and one gives you more of a tapered look. And then it has just a regular comb on the end. You guys, this is the best tool, especially if you're not that good with the clippers. This can be your best friend. Um, this will not take off any more hair than the guard here, as well as the clippers. But a lot of people are afraid of clippers. So I would recommend this just to kind of help trim up the back and the sides and around the ears and stuff like that um, in between cuts. One of my favorite tools in my hair care regimen. And this can be purchased at just a regular beauty supply store. I think I got this at Sally's for, I don't know, maybe six or seven bucks. I can't remember, but very, very well worth the investment. So anyway, guys, that is my updated hair care routine as well as my relaxer products that I use and my daily styling tools that I use. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. I wanted to share with you guys, I don't know if you saw these two beauties back here in the back. Isn't this so cute? This is just a, a little ladybug and it has some miniature roses. And I, I just thought this was just so cute. And Valentine's Day was what, almost two weeks ago? And these are still alive and kicking. So maybe that's a good sign. And then this is the other, and these are just some, I don't know what you call these flowers, but these are just so beautiful. Very colorful, very simple. I just thought this was really, really cute, and it has like a little bow here on the front, made of like a straw string. So I just thought they were just so cute, and I just wanted to share them with you guys. So anyway... Bye, guys.